Hello my dear friends, welcome to Photon Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I am going to tell you how to import JSON file in Power BI desktop. Now let's go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will cover mainly three points. In the first point we will tell you how to import JSON file. And secondly we will tell you how to declutter JSON nested data set which you import and want to visualize in Power BI desktop. After that we will cover the visualization that which data you imported and decluttered in Power BI desktop that how do you make visualization out of that data. Now let's go forward and talk about what is JSON before going into Power BI desktop. As most of you already know what JSON data is and you have tried importing the JSON data and there is some problem that's why you are here. But before going any further I like to just give a brief description of what JSON data is. JSON data stands for JavaScript object notation which is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data and often used when data is sent from a server to a web page and also can be described or can be self describing and easy to understood. But just understand JSON is structured and nested data set. Now let's go and see what it looks like. You can see what JSON data looks like. So you can easily presume from this data looking like that this data is very structured and if you observe very closely the array is actually is very nested data set that means the data is within a data that this is a long bracket short bracket and within there there, there is data and within that data there is another data so this is the data within data now let's import this in Power BI desktop and understand how it works. Now we are in Power BI desktop which is an analytical software help you in analyzing your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us look how we can import the data in our Power BI desktop. So for that you have to go into the home ribbon and in the get data section when you click on it you will see common data sources that is Excel Power BI data set and further so on. So you can see JSON is not so much of common source. So you have to click on more. Click on more. When you click on more there is another dialog box that opens up and shows you something like this and this is what get data looks like so there are a lot of formats that you can import in your power bi desktop for now we are just uh, talking about json data now this is a json data so you have to import it after that click on connect when you will click on connect it will ask you where the document is so here is my json data that i want to import in my power bi desktop after that click on open when you click on open you will see it will connect you to your data and it will take a few seconds to import the data in power bi desktop now you will see the power query editor just opens up in which the data has now been imported so we will make it a full screen now you will see our data is looking like this so as I have told you, our data is structured and nested data set. So there's sales and lists. That doesn't make a lot of sense because I have shown you the data and it is much more. For that I will click on list and will tell you how this is nested data set. So I will click on it. You will see there is data within the list that names as six records. I will click on this record when I click on a record you will see we are within the record that has a structured nested data set within that it contain information for the region volume and transaction and if you look carefully within transaction there is also nested data set that contains the information for the list and it also has a four rows 
when i click on the one of them you will see it further contains a data set for the date and volume so you can easily presume that how much structured and nested data set it is so the question arises in your mind we have so much of data but when we see in our data we are nothing that much close to what data set is actually we have and we have imported in power bi desktop so what we can do to make a table that will look as same as our data so so first of all you have to create a table so how do i create a table in a convert tab you will see into table option so i will click on it so now the table has come into play and now you will see two columns one row that is name and value but we are seeing list but the certain difference now now you can see in a value section we have one button that is now available to us that is expand expand this same functionality you can also observe from the transform ribbon in the structured column and in here you will expand first of all you will click on the value column so that you will have an option for the structured column now you will see the expand functionality is now open for you so before doing anything else i will click on this button when you click on this button you will have two options expand to new rows extract values so first of all we will try the extract values when i click on it you will see there is another dialog box that opens up extract values from list so just set it okay so it will take a few time and you will see there is an error in our data because there is nothing you can extract because i have told you this is a nasty data set that means data is within the data you have to extract you just cannot extract the value you have to expand the table first so for that we have to just remove this applied strap from the extracted values and we are just back on the square one that is where from we have started that we just converted our source into table after that we will click on this button which was now available after making us a table so i will click on it now we will see a new option that is expand to new rows so when i click on it you will see there are new rows that is now available to us so uh, but the record is certainly available to us again so when i click on it you will see there is nested data that is data within data i don't want to look at this data i just want to expand more values out of this record how can i do that again you have to click on the value column and again on the same option now when now you can see there is certain difference now now we have new three columns because when i clicked on the record you have seen the data contains the data for the region volume and transaction and transaction has data within itself so i will click on it uh, sorry now you will see there is certain difference that value is coming in front of it i have to remove this value also because it is not making any sense now so i will tell you how to remove it just remove this step and we are back into this after that when you click on it you will see the option in here use original column name as prefix no i don't want to use the value column as a prefix because it doesn't make a sense so i will click on it okay now you will see region volume transaction now this is what data looks like now i have shown you the data within the transaction have a record and within record we have a date and volume so i want to extract that also so that cannot be extracted because it is a nested data set you can only do something which now again i will go back to that option which use as an expand to new rows because this is nested data set and we want to expand so again i will click on it you will see now we have much more data set now from the two column one row we are in four column and 24 rows so this is how much nested data set we have which is a very structured in json so again we have a record and when you click on it you will see there is data within that also so just remove this after that go into the transaction column again we will expand some data out of it now when you click on it you will see there is data within this that is date and column that is new 
column will be entered through it. So when I click on OK, you, you will see two new column has been added. Now we have a five column and 24 rows. So you can easily assume how much structured data was and how much nested data set was. So we have extracted this information, but the work is not done yet. So the main thing is left is like I have to visualize this data set. So certainly importing is not everything. We have to extract and visualize this data set. This is why we use Power BI desktop. So first of all, before so before going into visualization, we have to change the data type of each of the column because now you see in volume there is front of we have a ABC and one two three date we have ABC one two three volume have region we have ABC one two three that means the data type of each of the column is not defined yet. So how you can define that data set or you can say data data type. So that is quite easy. There are two processes. Either you go on this ABC 123 button and you will click on it. You will have certain options that which you can choose from. I can give it a whole number. So this is how you just give a data type to each of the column. But it take a lot of time and I don't want to do that. So how can I make it easy? So just click on control and A. You will select all the columns after that go into the transform ribbon. In a transform ribbon we have a detect data type option. You can see its brief description is automatically detect the data type of the currently selected columns. So just click on it. Now you will see the column has now been selected. Now you can see the name has ABC, region has ABC, volume is 123, date is dately defined. That means its data type is date and volume is 123 again. Now you see our data set is now completely prepared for visualization. So how can I transfer this visualization into Power BI desktop? Because now we are in Power Query Editor where we have edited our data set. Now after that click on close and apply. When you do that you will import your whole data set into Power BI desktop for visualization. You can see apply query changes is happening in the background and data is creating connection in model. So after it being loaded and imported in a Power BI desktop for visualization, you will see in below the field column, there are five new columns that will be introduced. Now you can see we have a five column in front of us for visualization. Now we will make a visualization out of the data set which we imported as in JSON form. So I will use any column chart. I will go for the stacked column chart. After that increase its size. Now you have to import and drag and drop this data set into axis, legends and values. So how can I do that? So first of all I will drop volume into value region. Uh, date into access and region into legends after doing that our data set is looking like this so what you can presume from this data set that what we have imported in a json is looking like this after we put date into access legend into region and values we have a volume so you can also drill down and you can see the data within the data because we have made the visualization in that sense also so you can make visualization according to your own choice but i hope i have covered every perspective and every question for importing the data set of a json form so if there is any query you can write in comment section so with this point, I am going to end this video and I hope your all queries has been cleared. And if not, please kindly write us in comment section and we will surely get back to you. And if this video helps in any way, kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future. Till then, have an amazing and good day.